anybody have any more questions before we're good? Well, if you do, something comes up, just blurt it out. But this is actually a good segue to start doing some makeup. There are different chromophores in the skin, different pigments in the skin. So we always talk about melanin, um, and we always think of melanin as being that brown color, you know, or the blue-black color is melanin. There are really two different types of melanin. Then. So while melanin is going through this very long process to um, oxidize and start to become the form of melanin that we're actually utilizing, it can travel down a little shunt in the pathway, just kind of go down another pathway and create a different form of melanin. And that melanin is more of a red melanin. It's in our heart, it's in our lungs, it's in our hair. We see that kind of melanin everywhere. Um, so there are two different forms working here. So you're getting the red from Theo and the darker blue-brown from um, you melanin. So those are working together to create this pigment. And then on top of that, it, I think as an esthetician you start to see the other chromophores better, but even collagen has a little bit of a yellow tone to it. Um, beta carotene, you'll see this in cultures that have a high plant-based diet, they look a little more golden all throughout Asia, lots of plants, lots of vegetables and fruits. Um, there, you're seeing the beta carotene in the skin, it's a little more of an orange color. Beta carotene is really interesting because it's essential for um, cellular expression, it's essential for balancing cells. You get vitamin A um, eventually when it breaks down to, from beta carotene. Um, hemoglobin, blood, so oxygenated hemoglobin is red, that gives that red undertone again, and then there's a little bit of a blue pigment from deoxygenated hemoglobin, blood, deoxygenated blood. So you're getting all of these different chromophores, pigments in the skin that are coming in 